Hello everyone, welcome back. We're gonna do a Lynx 12 video today. One of my viewers asked me uh, in a uh, email um, if I could take a look at my Lynx 12 um, with the one with the broken bolt. Uh, this one over here had a bolt that broke at uh, 11,000 rounds and I did a video about how I uh, changed that out. Uh, there was a bit of fitting work involved. Uh, they, they wanted to know if the um, uh, if the if the if the um, uh, receiver uh, look bent, okay. Um, so I don't know how good I'm going to be at judging that. Uh, so what I, you know, my the viewer probably has a better eye for it. So what I'm going to do is I got a level out here. We're going to open it up. We're going to try and put it up against a, a level and try to uh, try to figure that out. Okay. Well, or rather, I'm going to let him figure it out. Uh, so I've got both of them here. Each of these has is up to 15,000 rounds at this point. Um, they have each, they have both been, let's put it this way, they're both like, I think on their third recoil spring at this point. Okay. So, uh, I've had, you know, uh, on this one over here, I've had to change the bolt on that one over there. All, all I've had to do was change the recoil springs and I've, I've done that on both of them. So let's, uh, let's take this apart. We'll start with this one over here. That we know has the broken, broken bolt. Now this has not been cleaned. Probably in the least, in the, in, in, I, I can't remember to tell you, I, I, I'd be guessing. Uh, there's a good chance it hasn't been, it probably hasn't been cleaned since, since I, um, since I, uh, put the bolt into it. So it probably had about, it probably has about 4,000 rounds on it since the last time I cleaned it. Well, actually, that wouldn't make any sense. So I probably cleaned it the last time I changed the, the bolt on the, uh, the, uh, the, the recoil spring on this. I can tell this is in fairly decent condition. Uh, it's just got basically the the, um, the rubber has a little bit of wear over here, but not bad. In the first eight thousand rounds, I found that I that this rubber got chewed up a lot. Now it might just be that the original one that came with it was really soft. This one does seem pretty stiff, so I think that maybe Lynx improved the rubber quality. All right, I, I had not considered that the. Uh, I had not considered that before, but I, I think they probably improved the, the rubber. Let's get that out. So let me fold this. Let's get a look at this thing over here. I'll bring it behind the camera. Uh, my viewer was interested in seeing the head of the bolt to see if there's any wear on that. I don't see any. So it looks like it's going in pretty smooth. There we go. I'm just looking at the bolt over here. Yeah, I'll hold it for you guys. Bolt face looks fine. There it goes. So this is the one. That I had to replace. Um, you have to go back and see the video. Um, basically, I, I had to do some grinding on these lugs over here to get it to fit in here. Um, get up to the camera. But yeah, it looks, other than it's dirty, you can see all the dirt coming off on my hands. It, it looks fine to me. All right, so. I did bring some cleaning supplies here in case I needed to clean it to get a closer look at it. But so what we're going to do is going to put this on the table here. And we're going to put a level next to it. And then... I mean, I don't even know how, how helpful the level is going to be. I'm trying to I'm trying to match up the level to the maybe to the rail the side rail over here. The problem is that I, I you know what? I'm just gonna hold the camera here and I'm gonna let the person that was asking me the question trying to figure this out on their own. I'm gonna un unhook the camera from this mount. All right, so there it is.
it's not very sunny now, so if it was sunnier, maybe you might have been able to see better. Let's turn it over on the upside down side to see. Well, let me see if I can put a light on this. Well, I think I got a light in my pocket. Nope. Did I lose that light? Okay, I no longer have a light in my pocket. Let me see. Nope. I do not have a light. Well, let's see if the... There we go. We got a light on the, on the camera. So. so. So that's 15,000 rounds on the Lynx 12. So I hope this video was somehow useful. Yeah, let me pause this. I'll put it back on the tripod. All right, you know what? Let me try and put this back together real quick. I'm going to open up the other one in case that's useful in some way. Together, which I don't get all parts mixed up. So this is the part I would screw up. And, uh, I always have a hard time getting that bolt to go in there. And that's 100% related to the fact that I just don't open it up that often to clean it. Hold on, let me turn the flash off this camera so, so I don't eat up my battery. Okay, here you go, flash is off. Alright, let's open up this one. Let's see what this one looks like inside. So it's no coincidence that they each got about 15,000 rounds because I try to I try to run them about the same. You know, basically I get these. Uh, I used to be able to go to Walmart and they would they would have the the 100 round value pack. So I would just get 10 and like 10 of them every time. So I would always know I got okay this batch is a thousand, next batch is a thousand. So that's how I was able to keep track of it. I Walmart uh, in my area stopped selling it. So now. I uh, basically I order online. It, it is a lot. It is a bit more expensive to get it online, um, but probably the reason why I, I think the volume of shooting that I do has dropped a little bit with the, with the shotguns, uh, just because you know it's it's heavier. So, uh, 250 rounds of birdshot is pretty much like the same weight as like a thousand rounds of like nine millimeter or or, or or 223. So so getting a thousand rounds of shotgun ends up being the shipping ends up being more expensive so like when i'm out there you know training people i generally push the more economical stuff that's so that's part of the reason why uh the number the rate at which the number the round count on this uh you know the, the rate at which it's been increasing has been slowing down it's still going up but it's slowing down a little bit uh, because of that but anyway that's how i'm able to keep track of it like now when i order online I know that the boxes are 250 rounds each, 250 shells, so I get four of them, and that's a thousand rounds, so, so I keep track of it that way. All right, so now let's take a look at this one. I think this one is a newer one. I put this in more recently, so this rubber is, uh, this one's like almost brand new. That's only, that's only it's probably got uh, a couple hundred rounds on it. So this this this, this recoil spring is pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Now this is the original bolt with the original uh, the bolt carrier with the original bolt. Uh, it's got like that grayish color, so you can see that it is a lot dirtier. But let me show you the face. Face looks good to me. I don't see any. Bolt looks good. I don't see this one breaking over here. So this one's still the original one. The other one's the one I had to break. I had to change. No, uh, 
this is the point of where the piston like well i guess the piston's up here on the on the sega 12 the point where the the, the bolt carrier contacted the piston is the where the point where it cracked with this one it's a solid piece all the way up to back to here and that's where the pin goes through and that's solid i mean this is a much better bolt carrier than was on the sega 12 i like this one a lot better uh, of course the obviously the the, the 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 one bolt broke so i guess the bolt on the on the sega 12 was better but it could have just been a fluke i mean it might have just been that one bolt that went into that gun was you know problematic I'll do the same thing. I'm going to press this on the table like this. I'll get the level next to it just in case you guys are able to see something with that that I can't. Kind of show it out best I can. Let me pull the camera, get a little closer. All right, here we go. Put the flash on. We get a little bit of light in there. Get a level on the table. See, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for, so that's why I'm doing this video so that the person that asked me the question can see for themselves and maybe they can find what they're looking for and then they can point it out to the rest of us. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's bring these two, get the bolt out of this one, put these two side by side. Here we go. I mean, it's really hard to match up the level because I got the rail up there. Let me see if I can drop this trigger one-handed. Here you go, maybe that'll be useful. All right, so that's 15,000 rounds. Oh, I should say the one thing that did happen on one, I think it was the this one over here, the little bead over there, that unscrewed and fell out on the, like in the first like five months, on, on just one of these. So one of the things that you want to do is make sure that the front side bead is screwed in tight. Maybe you can lock tight that little bead right there. Make sure it doesn't unscrew on you because that will fall out. So that's one, I, I had that problem on one of these. The other one was tight. Never had a problem with that. All right, guys, I hope this video was useful in some way to somebody. Um, and then this is this bolt goes with this one. I have to mix them up. This one up here. This is actually my first one. Get them out. No. Get out, get out, get out. I had this one out before, so do this crap one handed. Get come out. Come on, get out. There we go. So this is the replacement one. All right, thanks for watching. If uh, you're not a member of the channel, subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notification of the new videos I put out. I'll talk to you all soon.
Hey everyone, I went ahead and I did a cleaning. So I figured I'd show you um, what this thing looks like clean. Now I know it's not like super clean, but just cleans I'm gonna make it. So if this is helpful in any way. And we'll push that hammer back. And I also cleaned the uh, things a little cleaner. Like I said, I'm definitely not a clean freak, so this is clean to me. <laughs> If you don't believe me that it's cleaned, I mean, hey, I, I just washed my hands, right? So this is my hands washed. That's how dirty. They, they, imagine how dirty my hands were before I. Uh... So the one thing that's interesting is this is the one that that I replaced, right? So this is the one that's riding in this carrier. This one shows some interesting wear that I don't see on this one, right? This is the, the gray one. That didn't break. That's the original one. So the wear is a little interesting. This one has, seems to have more wear up here on the head of the bolt. Right? So this is the original one. Compared to the tail part. See, the tail barely has any wear on it. So this one over here has a lot less wear seems to have a lot less wear on the head compared to the tail the tail seems to show more wear on this let's get these two bolts side by side so this is interesting so that's the replacement bolt so here's what i'm thinking since this bolt seems to have a little bit of wear on the tail part which is where the original one broke. I'm thinking, if anything, this bolt carrier might have a slight bent in it. I, mean, I don't know, we're just guessing here, but because that's the only thing that would affect the wear that we see on the. Uh, of course, I mean, that bolt may, you know, this tail might also be slightly thicker. We don't know. But that's, that's something interesting that I noticed that this one seems to have more wear on the tail. Compared to this one, no wear on the tail, but it's got more wear on the head. So I think that this should be very interesting to that person that was asking me about this. I'll talk to you all soon.